Hi everyone, welcome back to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. Today I'm going to be doing an underwater scene. Now this is a, a repurposed canvas and it does have some texture to it. I don't know if you can see that. I can't see it very well. Just a little bit, but it does have some. Um, I already painted the reef rocks and I'll probably end up putting some crushed glass or something in here and I already painted this part blue but I decided I want to have a sky up here and then the, the water line would be right here so I put a piece of tape right there this part will be sky I still have to paint that and then I wanted to have the water have like some movement so I decided to do a swipe with very, very translucent colors and do the swipe with some white. Now in the white I have some coconut milk, silicone. It's very thin, very thin, because I didn't want it. I wanted, uh, there's a lot of flow trawl and a lot of water in here. I just wanted to get that look. I didn't want to have it go on real dark so I have this color, this is a leftover color. Um, I think there's, I think this already had just a tiny bit of silicone in it already. And then this blue. I think I wanna, I'm gonna use little sticks, it's really hard to see the, definitely sinks in, but it's hard to tell because I usually use a bigger stick. So I'm gonna try that. I'm going to go ahead and lay down white and use a sheet protector to do the swipe even though it doesn't go all the way across. I can fix the edges later. Come all the way down with it. And then I could go ahead and right away wipe off on the black. I'm going to be putting fish in here, maybe a seahorse, maybe a mermaid, um, turtle, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I have to let this dry first. So this will be um, probably a, I don't know how many part video for you over multiple days. Let's get going. decided to go ahead and swipe the top while it's wet this way go right on the edge there and just see what happens you know just got some turbulence up top making it more white, white caps, and I don't know, maybe I'll put a fish up here coming out of the water. A little bit. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'm done with the background. I like how the water turned out. I did the sky up here so I'm ready to I think I'm getting complicated uh, I don't know I'm getting in over my head here so I have sort of a plan I sketched out different fish seahorse this is a sailfish else. I don't know, just different kinds of fish. There's a manta ray, mermaid. So I sketch these out with pencil and I want to put them on here. 
so I need to figure out where I want to put everything. And I'm just going to use carbon paper to put my drawing, put this down, put my drawing down over it and trace it on there. And then I'm going to be using some outliners. This is a PBO um, Serine Relief outliners and also the Puffy 3D that you could get at Walmart. That will also work. So you have these three to choose from, or I mean these two different types that I've used. Now I do have, and because I want a thin line, if I wanted a thicker line, I could use this, the gallery glass. This is like a stained glass letting look, but it's just too big for this size. So I'm going to stick with these. So my plan is after I get them traced, I'm going to be outlining with one of these, one of these reliefs, different, I don't know what color I'm going to be using. And then I'm going to put paint down, just a basic, <clears throat> basic paint. So the background doesn't show through. And then I'm going to be using tri art liquid glass to attach and the reason why I'm using the relief is because I want to contain the tri art and I want to contain the beads. I'm going to be using all kinds of different little tiny beads. I'm also going to be using some glitter and some crushed glass. So it just depends on the colors that I want. My mom left me all kinds of these little beads and so I figured I'd use them since I'm not into making jewelry. All right, well, let's get started. Underneath, underneath this, I have some cardboard to make it a little stiffer because I don't know how much I need to press, press down on this paper. So I'm just gonna start right here. I'm just gonna barely tape I don't want it moving around. Start doing the outline. I've never used the silver before, so I'm going to start with the silver on this. This fish is going to be silver and I think dark gray. So I'm going to go ahead and outline this guy. To let this dry before I can paint and as soon as it's dry I'll bring you back
Okay, I'm done. I didn't, I don't have to paint really well, so some of the paints were transparent. It was a little harder because the glass and the beads are going to go on top of this. I just didn't want the water color to show through. So I think I got it covered good enough where that's not going to happen. As far as the coral, I think I'm just going to hand paint that and not do the beads. Um, we'll have to just wait and see. But I'm pretty happy with so far how it's turning out. Um, hey, let me know in the description what you think. And let's go ahead and continue. I'm going to go ahead and use the Tri Arts, paint that on as soon as this dries, and start sprinkling the beads. I'll be back. Hi, it's the next day, so now I'm going to be using the Tri Art liquid glass. I'm going to be painting it on these fish and I'm using all kinds of different glass and beads and glitter, just all kinds of different cool things. So let's get going. And some of these glitters I mixed with the glass with the glitter and the beads with the glitter. I just wanted to try to get as close to the colors as possible that I painted. And I'm sure some of this paint's gonna show through. So let's get going. I'm gonna start up here a little bigger area. I'm not gonna work right next to it, but I do wanna work on this area. Now tomorrow, I'm gonna just tip this over All the loose glitter will come off but for right now I just want to get it out of the areas so this is an area I'm gonna to have to do this area tomorrow because it's just too close if this was glass it would just be easier to control but even the big glitter is difficult okay so I'm gonna work on this area and I'm gonna be using this. I'll go ahead and do her tail, then I can do her hair, and then I'll have to wait till tomorrow to do all the other colors. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Clean up on this and I'll be back. easier way to put on glitter and I have a video of how to do that by folding a piece of paper um, so if you want to look back on my channel you'll see how to glitter the pour and have more control but these little beads they roll around and um, I just thought that doing it out of container might be better not sure if it is all right I'm gonna finish up here with the fins and the tail Okay, I think that's it for now. I'll see you when it dries. It's all dried. Now I need to paint the coral, give the fish some eyes, and do a little touch-up. All right, this was a very long project. I had to do a lot of editing, and I've been gone a couple weeks. California, Nevada, and Oregon, and I'm back and I ended up painting the coral, which took a really long time, out of my comfort zone. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. This was probably eight hour project total. Let me show you some close-ups. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I might try doing some acrylic painting again or another project similar 
without the beads. Please let me know what you think. I appreciate you. Please check out my Amazon shop. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know where you're from. Thanks so much for watching. Aloha.